Union Power Minister Piyush Goyal today chaired a crucial meeting of power ministers from all the states at Vigyan Bhavan in the national capital. At the meeting, he discussed shortage of coal for power production and also tariff issues. He also asked states to work together to realize PM's dream of 24-7 power to all states. The minister also expressed concern over conditions in flood hit Jammu and Kashmir. I think uh, it's, it's been a great learning experience because from every one of those interactions, I think I picked up something new. There was always a unique feature in each state. And as uh, Prime Minister Modi ji said, we are not here to propagate a particular model or a particular thinking. We are looking at it in an inclusive fashion where good ideas can percolate from across India. And the one promise that I have made to the people of India, furthering the dream of Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi, to provide 24 by 7 power to every home, every industry, every commercial establishment. Make sure that the farmers of India get adequate power. And we can actually be a diesel generator and inverter free country. And I think towards that one dream, we are all assembled here. I'm sure all of you would agree with me that the aspirational India, the young India which wants results, is very impatient. They don't have the luxury of time and they will neither give us the luxury of time. Gone are the days when we could think we will work on 20-year plans and 30-year plans. We'll have to work in mission mode. We'll have to take up this, the projects that we discussed today or the policy issues that we discussed today on a fast-track basis. And let's focus on policy issues, issues where we can all enhance our own vigilance and transparency mechanisms, how we can all work in a fashion where the public starts trusting us. As we speak, the court is hearing the matter of coal allocations, and it's a wake-up call for all of us. In my personal view, the merits and demerits can be debated for days on end. But in my humble view, the the issue only is like a wake-up call for all of us that the accountability standards and transparency standards throughout the country in every action of government will have to become more transparent, will be subject to more probity. One thought that came out in my morning meeting was that some of the states like Maharashtra, Gujarat, Orissa, Tamil Nadu, Uttarakhand, which have faced similar crisis, the tsunami, the Uttarakhand rainfall, the Latur earthquake or the Kutch earthquake, maybe if some of you could spare the particular experts or officers who were involved at that point of time in the immediate activity relief operations, and the rehabilitation efforts. It may be a good gesture on your part. I mean, it's a suggestion that came out in my morning meeting. And since we have many of you here, you may like to carry it to your respective states. But in consultation with the National Disaster Relief Authority, so that there's no disconnect in the relief activities. But I thought it may be a good idea to consider sending some of such experts to help in this activity. Powered by NNIS.